Hello YouTube. Um, today we're going to do the ultimate beginner's guide to developing speed on the fretboard. Uh, this applies to all genres of music and it's going to help you immensely. Got a lot of tips for you. <laughs> I'm not the fastest, um, but you know, I got some decent speed and if you're a beginner playing like that is, you're going to be really happy about that. We're going to base everything around the A major scale, which I'm going to provide and I'll show on the screen uh, to get you started and then I'll give you some links to the uh, full pattern for the fretboard. A couple of things that uh, uh, people don't understand about speed, uh, it's not it's not as fast as your fingers going. Some people have uh, quicker twitch speed, meaning they, they just have faster reflexes. And because of that, they can play a little bit faster than this guy or that guy. But there are tips, there are tips and tricks that can actually get you there quicker. So when you have your pattern, what we're going to do is work on the A major today. <laughs> That's the A major. We'll do a close up here just to show you how it goes. Yeah, let me get the right spot. There you go. So everything starts on the 5th fret. First thing um, you're going to want to know is a scale to start with. Now this is going to apply to all your scales, but we're going to do this A major scale so that you have a pattern that you're familiar with. Uh, it's very important to be familiar with the pattern when you're developing the speed. Uh, you need the alternate pick, and what I mean by alternate picking is down, up, down, up. It's not quite tremolo because you're not... You're not going to pull on as fast as you possibly can because your fingers probably can't keep up with this hand. But what you want to do by alternating is your every note is going to be opposite of the other. So one note is down, the next uh, note is an upstroke. And that's how I'm going to play the scale, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, the whole way. <laughs> Alternate your picking. Um, down, up, down, up. So if your first uh, note, you hit the down stroke. Your next one, you catch on the up stroke. Then the next one down. The next string up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down and so forth. Um, develop that rhythm. That rhythm is going to help a lot. want efficiency with your picking hand. But what we also want is efficiency with the fretting hand. You don't want your fingers all out in space. Uh, one of the biggest things, and it took me a long time to learn, nobody ever told me, is you want to lift your fingers off of the fretboard the minimum amount that is needed to get to the next place. The further you get your fingers away from the fretboard, the more time it's going to take you to get your hand back or your finger back into position and that is going to slow you down uh, immensely. It makes a very big difference. If I'm high finger in it, it's very hard for me to uh, develop speed. But when I keep them super close, you don't see my fingers moving that much because they're not coming way up in the air to get to the next note. And this is a habit you want to incorporate into all of your playing. This efficiency is going to increase your speed overall and allow you to play more complicated pieces because you can get to the next part quicker. Um, you're shaving off milliseconds and microseconds in this. I'm going to give you a close-up of the uh, distance. 
So, what you don't want to do is this. That's way too high. You want to keep it nice and close. Lift your fingers the minimum amount, amount as possible. And if you do that, you're going to notice a huge difference in your playing. This uh, applies when you're doing chords, any sort of a change. Don't throw your hand out here in the space because it's got to come back. The further away you get your hand from the fretboard, uh, the more time it's going to take for you to get it actually back into place. Uh, the last thing is going to be legato. And uh, a lot of people, they're not sure what legato is. But with legato, you can make yourself sound like you're playing faster than you actually are. And a lot, legato is uh, the combinations of hammer-ons and pull-offs and how smooth you are with that. Now, by doing that, I don't have to um, alternate pick every note. I just throw in some legato there until I catch up with my pick amp. That's with legato thrown in. Now this is just that's straight. Now when I throw in the hammer on and pull offs, I'm not actually picking every note here. I'm starting to do hammer ons and pull offs. That allows me to gain a little bit more of an edge. Uh, practice this every day. Run the scale through, alternate pick. While being mindful of how far your fingers are coming off of the fretboard. You want it hovering above the string or the next note and ready to go as that pick is going. Alternate, keep your hands quick, and once you get that, start throwing in, in some legato. this every day, 30 minutes a day, you're on your way to some very, very fast speed and uh, it's going to affect your playing overall in a positive way and uh, make you a better player. Alright, I'm El Radio. that's your lesson for today. Laters.